Well, 7 News on your side covering the district. A special gala now is underway to honor the legacy of Charles Summer Schools. That's right. It opened its doors to African Americans in D.C. 150 years ago. This school is on 17th Street and M Street Northwest. 7 News D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live from the school where we are learning about all of its prominent alums, Sam. And you said you learned a lot today. Yes, indeed, I did learn a lot today. This area around uh, 50, uh, 17th and M was once a black neighborhood. I did not know that. But in any event, folks are coming here for this school that is celebrating 150 years. At one point, it was in such a dilapidated condition. The roof caved in. There was talk about demolition, but they saved it. And so tonight, a celebration. This was a functioning D.C. public school until the late 1960s. D.C. schools are celebrating the Charles Sumner School's 150 years at 17th and M Northwest. Always an elementary school, but sometimes shared space. It was a public high school, the first public high school in America known as the preparatory school for colored youth when the first graduation took place here in 1877 and Frederick Douglass was the keynote speaker. Named after the great abolitionist Charles Sumner, senator from Massachusetts, designed by the famed D.C. architect Adolf Kloos. Preparations are underway for the celebration, including alumni. Very good school, very good school. Judge Calvin Hawkins, 78, is still on the bench in East Chicago, Indiana. He says it was a segregated elementary school which he attended K through 6 in the 1950s. He remembers particularly his sixth grade teacher, Alta Gray. Every single day you had a news topic. She wanted our, our, her students to, to know what's going on in the world. And so that's, you know, that's why I'm, I'm a news junkie right now. He also remembers rivalry with another boy in kindergarten. We were competitors for a young lady by the name of Nancy Harvey. This is kindergarten. This law. is kindergarten. <laughs> kindergarten. We're big time, man. Sumner's also archives for D.C. public schools. You know who this is? Marvin Gaye. And we're back live here at the Sumner School, which actually now is the Sumner Museum and Archives. The actual program gets started about 645. The chancellor will be here, the deputy mayor for education, of course, a lot of alumni. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, 7 News.